I really want to see what's what's about to happen here, cause I wonder I wonder if they're actually gonna catch this psychopathic murderer that's been murdering people in our community. Yo, there's a lot of dead bodies here, man. Yo, what what the heck is going on? I know somebody's about to get executed. It's only a matter of time before we catch that dude. She ran and grabbed somebody. It's a little kid. Holy sh! What's up fam, it's your boy Kumasi and I've always been wondering what it would be like to live in a post-apocalyptic society after like a nuclear disaster or atomic bomb or something. I mean, it might not be far off considering the current politics going on right now. Thank you very much. But luckily we don't have to wait for that to happen. We got this game right here called Atomic Society where we're tasked with getting the remaining survivors and building up a city and trying to, you know, make something nice again. So, asses are about to get beat, people might get robbed, prostitution might run wild, but we gotta get it all together and try to run a nice, a nice little city right here. So, I'm pretty excited to get into this. Let's do it. All right, so it looks like we have to first identify ourselves. And I mean, I don't really identify as a woman, so I'm gonna have to change that right off the bat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go with this dude right here. He got that little smooth smooth. You know what I'm saying? Can't have me can't have me looking like uh, no scrub. All right, so can we all right, so we can we can change our skin color. I like I like this game already. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's make his hair black. I don't think we could change his hairstyle though, so let's keep it just like that. I'm gonna go with this little swag corduroy sweater right there and give him some kind of pants we got. I'm gonna go with these these little these little tight spandex black pants right here all right so let's read the briefing 20 years have passed since the bombs fell as a child you survived the war in a government bunker you were raised to be a society builder to go out with a small group of trained engineers and reconstruct civilization in the wasteland after the radiation fades you prepare to leave the bunker and build the first city of the new age with the values and morals fit for such a time you will attract survivors who are desperate and tired of life in the wastes they will look to you for leadership, but can they trust you? I don't know. Can they trust me? I mean, we'll see about that. I mean, I don't, I don't, I gotta see what, what's going on first. All right, so we'll name him. I'm gonna just go with, gonna roll with Kamasi right here and uh, give him his age. Looks like he's about 30. And um, his surname. I don't know what I should choose for that yet. I'm gonna just go with, uh, I'm gonna just go with hands, you know, because if anybody disobeys these rules that I set in the city, they're about to catch these hands right quick. All right, so <laughs> uh, we'll set the difficulty to normal and I'll keep the tutorials on. So I'm pretty excited. Let's do this. All right, so it looks like we got to choose where we want to build the settlement first, right? So we got a couple of options here. We got the uh, floodplain, we got the canyons. I think the floodplain is gonna have like radiation in the water, so. Enough. Yeah, look at that. Nuclear explosions cause faults, uh, fault ruptures thousands of kilometers away, sending a coastal village into the sea. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sound too too attractive. Um, but I'll, I'll roll with these dudes right here. Okay, so seeking a place of shelter from the raiders, you enter a secluded desert. There is an eerie calm here and the chance to start anew. Okay, I like I like the feeling of this. I'm gonna roll with the dunes. Uh, let's do that. Let's do it. Load it up, I'm ready. Don't keep me waiting, baby. Gotta be ready for me. Load the damn game. Come on, let's do this. All right, welcome to the Atomic Society. This tutorial will explain how to build your first town and set your first law. Click on the orange arrow. All right, so we can follow this tutorial right here. And uh, they're gonna teach us how to to build our first, our first town. But right away, man, look at this. This looks nice. I already like how this is looking right here. We got some water down there, and then, and then there's a couple things over around us that we can see. Here's our population of people right here. We gotta save all of these people right here, so let's figure out how to do that. Okay, let's enter town leader mode. Take control of the town leader by clicking the circular icon in the bottom right or press the space bar. Okay, where's, oh, that's our dude right there. There's Kumasi right there. Can I move around? All right, I can even move, move him around. That's That's pretty cool. All right, so the first thing we need to do is decide where we're gonna found our town. All right, so to do this, you gotta convert one of the larger ruins 
on the landscape into a storehouse. Press space to return to overview mode and look around for a large ruin. Okay, so let's look around where we could uh, start this village up. I mean, I see a little abandoned... What is this? Looks like an abandoned truck over here. I thought it was going to be a house. We got a house over here, though. Um, I think that is probably the closest the closest place to build to the water, you know? I think that's going to be useful. I think it's going to be really useful for us to have to have water, so I guess we could just do that. Alright, so we're going to do this one right here. And we're going to convert that into a, uh, a storehouse. Okay, so we can store all of our all of our stuff there. Alright, so we actually have these four survivors here. These four guys these four guys right here, they're my engineers, and they're actually trying to head over to this, uh, this destination I, I told them to go so that they can uh, start building on that. In the meantime, though, I can use my dude. I'm the town leader after all, right? So I gotta, I gotta get shit done. So let's, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find some resources for my people while they're building, working on that storehouse. So I saw a little abandoned truck over here, and I think, um, I think I'm gonna go to that. So I'm gonna tell my guy to go over here and try to salvage the resources from this uh this broken down little truck over here. So we can speed the time up as well. So I'm gonna put this on six times speed. And let him do his thing. He's over there trying to salvage some some uh, oh my inventory is full already. Okay, so let's slow down the speed and see if these dudes are yeah they're just about done with the storehouse okay so what do we name the settlement i think i think i'm gonna name it bedlam because this this is crazy yeah let's go ahead and name that bedlam all right so bedlam has been founded <laughs> this is a crazy city all right so what do we do now all right my dude is way over there i think i gotta bring him back and uh like dump my resources here so yeah let me deposit all my stuff in the new storehouse and uh, what's next? I'm trying to look through this tutorial to see what we can do. I'm kind of speeding through it. Alright, so our town leader will now automatically run off and loot the ruins. Alright, we did that already. We sped up the time. We did that. We deposited the storehouse. Uh, Alright, so we can create brand new structures. How do we do that? Alright, so... Explore structures that are available in the next step. Okay, so... Alright, so the storehouse is built, we got our supplies in there, um, and so we're, we're now trying to build some, we're trying to get this city off the ground, right? So we gotta start constructing stuff. Uh, so we're looking at this menu, and what do they want us to build? It looks like they want us to build a scavenger's hut. Okay, so let's look for that. We got the scavenger's hut right here, and I'm gonna put it right next to the resource center, the storage facility. And they're gonna, my engineers are gonna work on that. So what 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 do we do while these people are like working on this? Okay, so let's see. The tutorial says, yeah, the engineers are gonna start working on it. And I guess, okay, so the leader, the leader can help with the building process. All right, I can help out with them, y'all. So I'm gonna go over here and help build the structure, and I'm gonna speed the time up. So. We can get that done real quick. Okay, so once the the scavenger's hut is built, we can hire employees by right-clicking at the top. Okay, so we can click on this thing and help them hire some employees to, to start gathering our resources for us. Alright, so let's do that. Alright, so hire workers. Okay, the more workers you employ who are currently inside the workplace, the faster the production speed of this building. Okay, so we gotta hire four people to go to work here. And what's next? So the orange five bars in the bottom tell us the needs of our citizens. Right now we have 49 and our approval rating is 62%. So I'm doing better than Trump. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, um, so the citizens need food and water, a place to sleep. And so we can explore the build menu and check out some of that stuff. So. So they want us to also build a town hall. Okay. So when the town hall is built, right click and hire staff, just like we did for the scavenger's hut. Okay. Town hall. Okay, I don't have enough resources yet. So let's speed this up and let our workers 
gather the resources we need so that we can get to work on this town hall. So I'm in like six times speed building right here and I'm gonna hire dudes to work on that and then I'm gonna go help the engineers build this while the scavengers look for more resources. Okay, so how do I check how much resources I have? I guess I just click on this thing, right? Uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't. Okay, all the storehouses are full. I guess we have the resources now. And wow, this thing built really quick. Oh, we're we're still on six times speed. I gotta slow that slow that down. Okay, so let's hire people over here, and let's get to work on this town hall. Uh, where is the town hall? Here it is. Okay, town hall. Where should we put this? I think uh, I think I'm gonna put it like. Can I zoom out here? I think I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So we got a bunch of settlers over here, and I don't want to like block them from coming into the city, so I'm going to put the town hall like right over here. So we got storage back there. I want this to be like my main living area, so we'll just put the storehouse somewhere around here. I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to go help build that, and I'm going to speed it up so that we can get that done pretty quick. Okay, so what does the town hall do? So, when the town hall is built, we hire staff, and the town, hall, the town hall acts as enforcers, and they deal with any criminals. Okay, so, you already know it's about to go down if we gotta build, like, stuff for criminals already. We didn't even build, like, housing yet, and we gotta worry about criminals. So, uh, let's, let's tone this down, tone the speed, and hire some people here. And so, now that we hired workers, left click on the town hall to bring up the menu. Okay. So the issues tab shows a list of all social issues in the town and the circle next to each issue will turn red when the issue has occurred. Okay, so right now there's actually psychopathic murderers taking innocent lives in our town, y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> um, Alright, so the current population, we, we can see some st statistics on our, on our town already. Uh, 17 people died since the start already. And we still got all four of our engineers here. Okay, we got core issues, dehydrated citizens. All right, so everybody's homeless and everybody's unemployed. So we gotta fix those issues. And we got eight murders. Eight murders already. We only been here, how many, we only been here 42 days, a month. And there's only like 40 people. Eight of them got murdered already. All right, we gotta do something about this. Uh, so we click on this and we, oh, we can choose how we wanna deal with these people. So we can serve. We can do executions. Oh man, alright. So the issue is psychopathic murderers have taken innocent lives. And um, execution is slay those who perpetrate this issue. I'm down for slaying these people, man. You can't be killing the, the citizens of our of Bedlam, alright? Bedlam has to be a thriving city. And nobody should be uh, killed trying to mind their own business. Okay, so let's, let's first, let's build a... Uh, Let's build the proper the proper structures to do our executions. Where do we want to do them? I think I'm going to do them right in the middle of the town so everybody can see just what everyone else has done. So let's build let's build a punishment center. <laughs> they call it a punishment center. All right, so a center for where people get punished and that's going to be right in the middle of the town. And I'm you know what? I'm going to personally help you guys build this right I'm not even worried about water right now people are thirsty and dehydrated but the top of my priority list is this punishment center right now so uh, <laughs> that's what we're gonna build this thing's almost done I'm gonna hire workers to start executions and I'm gonna go back to the town hall and judge how to deal with this we're gonna go with execution and we're gonna we're gonna judge all these people with executions right so problem solved look at that green light baby problems already solved I know somebody's about to get executed it's only a matter of time before we catch that dude I really want to see what's what's about to happen here cuz I wonder I wonder if they're actually gonna catch this psychopathic murderer that's been murdering people in our community yo there's a lot of dead bodies here man yo what what the heck is going on who is the murderer, man? The bodies are like radioactive decaying right here. We gotta, I don't know if there's a way <laughs> to deal with this. We've only been living here for about two months and there's already people dying 
of radioactive decay uh, because of the damn psychopathic murderers around here. Oh shoot, I actually think something's gonna happen right now. One of the workers have left the town hall and the only reason for a worker to leave the town hall is for an execution or for some punishment. So what? I wonder what's gonna happen right now. She ran and grabbed somebody. It's a little kid. Holy shit. Yo, this little kid was a psychopathic murderer, I think. I, I, I think she's leading him back to the, the execution, the, the punishment center. Oh shit, all right, let's see. <laughs> oh man, it looks like, uh, I thought it was gonna be like a like an adult or something, but it looks like we're gonna punish this kid. I wonder how the execution's gonna work on a kid. This is, um, this is pretty, this is pretty gruesome, man. I, I wasn't expecting this to actually be in, in a game. All right, man, I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know how, I don't know if he's actually the real psychopathic murderer. I mean, that's what it looks like right now, but <laughs> yeah, sure enough, she's going into the execution, the, the, the punishment center, and this little dude, oh wait, he, she just put him in, oh, oh man, wait a second, they just, they just hung a kid, why did it have to be the black kid, oh man, they hung the black kid, this is, this hits a little too close to home, man. Why did this have to happen? <laughs> oh my god, what kind of game is this? Oh jeez. Oh man. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the first part. If you guys want to see more of this uh, Atomic Society, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll put more of the game up. I think this is going to be a pretty exciting game. It has a lot of potential and uh, I'm really excited to see what else we can do in, in the game besides uh, executing our... <laughs> our children and uh i, I want to see what else we can build so let me know how you think of the, the video in the comments and i'll see you guys next time in the next part peace and i thought you were ready to give up you